Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We want to say a huge thank you to all of our new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, we looked on our channel today, we have 603 subscribers. Thank you for commenting our, on our wedding video, um, liking our videos, and just leaving feedback and engaging with us. We really appreciate the support. Now today in this video, we're gonna go ahead and actually share our year in review to help us prepare for 2021. A year in review is a way to reflect on the past year, looking at what went right, what went wrong, and how to improve in the upcoming year. Our 2020 has had its ups and downs, but overall it's been an amazing year. So Matilda's going to go first. So what are your five greatest accomplishments this year? <laughs> Number one will definitely have to be our wedding. That was such an amazing time. I remember the flight to Orlando from Michigan. We actually got to the airport and they said they overbooked our flight <laughs> and they were selling off tickets. They were saying, oh, if you give us, if you decide to stay at a hotel for a night, we'll give you a thousand dollars and give you a free night stay at the they hotel. Kept, like, squeezing it. And they were making the price even <laughs> higher and higher and offering more money and we're like, no, nope. On a regular day, we would take it, but yeah. we're so excited to just go to Florida and start planning um, our wedding. Yeah. And yeah, we would we were not having it at all. Our wedding was so much fun. Family came from all over the world. We just had incredible memories. Number two would have to be our honeymoon. Yes. We went to the Philippines. That was our first time. My first time in Asia. Mike's yeah. first time in Asia. Yeah. And it was so much fun. The culture, the food, the atmosphere, just romantic walks, um, sleeping and just hearing the ocean waves as we were <laughs> sleeping at night. It was yeah. so much just fun. Just wake up and you can see the ocean and like the beautiful like scenery in the background yeah. and just roll over. Like, oh yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just meeting all of the friendly people around. We just had such a great time with the locals. They showed us around. They were so awesome. Yeah. We made some friends. We went out with some friends to karaoke. Yeah. Um, we went on island hopping tours. Hi to our friends that we made, Ange, and we met somebody also from Canada who was visiting. We just had such a fun time, and it was just the two of us as a newlywed couple, yeah. and celebrating our love and just creating memories. Yes. Number three would be our move to California. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a fun time. We made a road trip out of it, and it was a great experience. Yes. Number four is starting our YouTube channel. That was a great accomplishment and I'm really grateful for the community that we have on YouTube. Number five is becoming an OT in California. That was the first time I worked as an OT outside of the state of Michigan and I'm currently the only full-time OT on staff so that was a great accomplishment. <laughs> So what are your five greatest accomplishments for 2020? Okay, so I promise we did not do this together. We, we did this separately. Uh, so my number one is the same as Matilda's. Uh, January 4th, uh, we started off the year with a celebration with our wedding. And our wedding coordinator, Courtney, described it as magical at the end of the night. And I couldn't agree more. We had the wedding in Orlando, just near Disney and the whole event was incredible. Uh, obviously exchanging our vows was a highlight, but then also the guys, we had a boat entrance with uh, Daniel, a violinist, yes. with a couple of his colleagues. They were playing uh, the instrumental for Game of Thrones as we were pulling up to the, uh, to the altar, so that was pretty sweet. It was epic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good word for it. Um, and then also we had a boat exit, um, and that was very unique and very special as well. We didn't get to film that with our videographer because we had him for like seven hours, but our wedding was actually longer. But we are going to put a clip of the boat exit in this video so you can see that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
also the the guests coming in internationally from all over the globe and just all of our friends coming in and, and it, it, everyone coming together and having a great time it was just you know, magical yeah I guess. it sure was <laughs> and then uh, I guess number two uh, would be also the Philippines our honeymoon um, you had touched on like the island hopping and how incredible that was but also that the people were just so welcoming and so warm and just wanted to uh, give you a, a great experience and really show mm -hmm. you their country and they were so proud of it and it was it was actually absolutely beautiful breathtaking and just untouched natural really beauty mm -hmm. I remember once we got back to Cebu uh, we did like a chasing waterfalls which they literally took us from waterfall to waterfall on a motorbike because you literally couldn't drive to these uh, waterfalls by car, so you had to jump on the back of a bike and and uh, and uh, get there, and that was incredible. And then also the canyoneering was definitely something like it was out of Jurassic Park. Like looking around, I was like, I felt like I was on a movie set. Okay, jump out. We met some pretty incredible people there from England, so hello to you as yes. well. Um, and yeah, and that's that was our, our big honeymoon. The food, of course, I almost forgot the food. So good, so good. chicken adobo. I was a fan. I yes. love the chicken adobo. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, chicken adobo. <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> um, so number three, uh, this is going to be the same as Matilda, our YouTube channel. And so, I, I really feel like it brought us together. Uh, made our relationship stronger and deeper and um, it's been a lot of fun kind of creating the content and the videos and doing this all together and then also being able to connect with people outside of our four walls especially during a uh, pandemic and quarantining we're not able to kind of go out and, and hang out with friends and um, you know do as much socializing but we're actually able to connect with a lot of people through these videos and through the uh, support with the comments and everything as well. So thank you again. Uh, it's been absolutely incredible. Number four is moving to California. And this was filled with a lot of uncertainty and a little bit of doubt, but it had a ton of excitement and, um, and I'm so glad that we did it. It's been an incredible ride um, driving all the way across country after we sold everything and starting a new life here in this wonderful place. Uh, number five, this is going to be paying off my car early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we uh, eliminated car debt and now we're just working on student debt. Question number two is going to be, what are your three most important lessons you have learned in 2020? So number one would be not to take anything for granted um, with the everything that's going on in the world. And this year I lost my dad, who was living back in Zimbabwe. I really learned to have meaningful conversations with people that you love, to express how much they mean to you, to tell them you love them, and to enjoy the memories and the experiences that you have, not to take things for granted. Yeah. Number two is I learned the importance of family. And I always you know, knew my family was important, but it just really made that even more clear and number three is that money comes and goes and to have an open hand to be generous no matter what um yeah i feel like with the fast-paced world it's like sometimes we forget that material things they come and go but in relationships and giving back and having an open hand helping those that are in need is very important yeah absolutely those are all very good what accomplishment are you most proud of from 2020? So outside of what I said in the first question, I'd have to go with earning my CAQ. Uh, that's a certificate of added qualification. And for me, it's in emergency medicine. Uh, and ever since I graduated and became a PA, it was something that I'd always strive to accomplish. And it's uh, been a big milestone and achievement for me. What personal improvements have you made in 2020? Definitely reading. I met my reading goal. My goal for 2020 was to read more either physical books or audio books and I kept a little checklist of how many books I was reading. I made sure to read at least one physical book a month and to listen to at least one audio book a month. What's the biggest risk you've taken this year? I'd say leaving a secure, stable job 
and moving across country. What are two things that worked well in 2020? One would be setting goals no matter how big or how small and writing them down. Two would be our weekly date nights. Um, those are great because they give us a chance to sit down and talk and just hang out outside of the crazy everyday hecticness. And also along those lines are budget committee meetings that we have twice a month to make sure we are staying on track with our budgeting and our expenses. Who has had the biggest influence in your life in 2020? Definitely my relationship with my mom as I grow older I realize how helpful her advice is and her guidance is so I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've hopefully gotten some good tips on how to uh, kind of reflect on and hopefully grow from the year 2020 and hopefully learn a few things about us in the process uh, we look forward to reading your comments below and please do like and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye. Until see you next time. week. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs>